language and perception from the family perspective. For the first decade of a child's life, they have only been exposed to the same experiences the rest of the family has. It is not challenged, so they have the same language or perceptions. Then school starts. Experiences happen outside of the family. Friends, families will have different languages that was developed by the parents. The child might see things. Some might even seem preferable because it requires less of them than you do. Until then, your way seemed normal, but now they understand it isn't the only way. That's, I think, when they start asking why. I would suggest it is not a challenge to your authority. It is a compliment. They see what they like, what they think is preferable. Out of love for you, they ask you to explain why you choose to do it. It has given you a chance to explain to them... Because as time goes on, this language of perception will become more out of touch with the family unit. Eventually, puberty hits. They have no idea of what rules to follow since all a rigid parent has taught them is do as you're told. You never answered even the simplest of questions. And now this person you insisted they can't see, that you insisted they can't do something, they really want will cause them to rebel. They have no clue you denied them that when they were willing to listen. Gaining that time back is impossible. Your actions have only made the path they must walk worse because you never allowed them to create a more code of their own. That damaged person will never understand how to have a healthy relationship without going through so many mistakes. Oh, because you were too rigid to realize they were not pets. You can put in a box or tell what to do, take them off the shelf and play like a toy. God gave us all free will, and you failed to understand. That means children will not always do as told. And eventually, you will be gone. The lessons they learned will have no relation to what you have. You lost your opportunity to have a lasting impact on a future generation because you failed to embrace what God gave you and tried to deny your child any help to travel the path God placed them on. You left it up to God through those he chooses to introduce into the child's life. That would happen anyway. Your role was to offer the child guidance, and that is what you failed to do because it was more important you train them to conform than to think for themselves. It was your arrogance that caused you to forget. God has a purpose, and it might not be yours. Have you ever considered it might not be the child that is being tested? Could it possibly be that God is testing you to see if you're wise enough to learn unconditional love is really unconditional?